do is head over to release.blackmesasource.com and grab a copy. It's about three gigabytes. An alternative to that, of all places, is the Pirate Bay. You know, torrents can be used for legal things, too. And this is absolutely legit. I've had better luck speed-wise with the torrent. Either way you get it, you'll end up with this Black Mesa folder and should contain a Black Mesa setup.exe, a .7z, and the MD5. We're not going to need that just yet because we need to install wine tricks. So let's open up a terminal, and on a Debian-based system I'm using Ubuntu 12.04, I'm just going to run a sudo apt-git install wine tricks and correct a small spelling error and key in the password. I already have that installed. So, step two is to get Steam up and running. Dead simple with wine tricks. Just run wine tricks Steam Now from here, let's just run through our wizard. Hopefully we're all over 13. Pick your speed. Language. Default. And finish. Just take a moment for Steam to update itself. Okay, now that that's done, you can either create a new account or log into your existing account, which I will do the latter. If you have an existing account and a new Steam install, you'll get an email confirmation that you'll have to key in. So, just take a moment here and do that. We can click Finish and Steam should launch. Now we have our subscriber agreement and privacy policy. We can click through that. And we're in Steam, so let's get Black Mesa installed. Head to the Games, tap at the top, and select Non-Steam Game to your library. And let's click Browse. Since I saved it on the desktop, I'm going to visit my home directory, Desktop, Black Mesa, and from here, select the Black Mesa setup.exe and click Act, Act, Add Selected Programs. Now we can click Black Mesa Setup and hit Play. We can do an Agree. Default Destination Folder is fine. And you have time to sit back and do other things because this is going to take a while. Okay, now that that's finished, we can run Black Mesa. Almost. What's going to happen is it's going to install Source SDK Base 2007. So we can click Next. You don't need to create a Start Menu or Desktop Shortcut. Now we don't want to view our library of games, and we can click Finish. And with our one item downloading, to be honest, I don't think you need this to play Black Mesa. I'll show you in a moment if I hit pause all. Won't hurt anything to have that installed, but let's close out Steam. And from here, we're going to run Wine Tricks one more time. Let's select our Steam bottle, click OK. We're going to install a DLL or component. Now this is not absolutely necessary, it's just something I always do with Steam. Seem to get better performance, and that's install Direct3D 942. Then we will 
Change settings. OK. And we're going to disable GLSL shaders. We can hit cancel and one more time. We can close our terminal because we should have a Steam icon on our desktop. Now let's launch that. Let's close out our advertisement. And when we go to library, we should have Black Mesa ready to go. When we click play, it should do a quick update. And we should be ready to go.